A Portsmouth woman is furious after her six-year-old daughter got off the school bus with a condom in her mouth. And now she wants to know how something like this could happen. Ten on your side's Katie Collette spoke with a woman and someone from the school. What do they have to say, Katie? Tom, a spokesperson for Parkview Elementary School, tells me the assistant principal and the head of transportation are reviewing video from the bus to determine exactly what happened. Meanwhile, the little girl's mother is waiting on blood work results taken at the hospital. She says she prays her daughter didn't contract a disease. Emma Thorne's daughter, Zamina, enjoys riding the bus home from school every day. But yesterday, when the bus pulled up, Emma noticed something odd. When she got off the bus, she just thought it was a balloon. She was just started blowing in it. The problem? It was no balloon in six-year-old Zamina's mouth. Instead, it was an unwrapped condom her seven-year-old brother said he found on their school bus seat. And I told the bus driver, what was this? She looked at me, and she smiled. She stated, clearly, I don't know where this comes from. It did not come from this bus. And I stated clearly to her, I said, it had to come from the bus or school. With condom in hand, Emma rushed her children to the hospital for testing. And they had to do different types of culture and lab work to make sure nothing was positive, nothing went going into it. It's rough test, TB, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. This mother, furious, her children are going through this. The bus was never checked properly. And the bus driver was pointing the finger at the school, and the school was pointing the finger at the bus driver. This should never have to happen to any child. A spokeswoman for Parkview Elementary School tells Ted on your side the assistant principal and head of transportation met with Emma today and told her they would be reviewing the tape to make sure the bus driver followed procedure. They also wanted to see what the children did with the condom. Now, Emma says she will only be pleased with one result for the bus driver. The young lady need to be fired. Now, it is still unclear if the condom was used. Emma says her son told her it was not in the wrapper when he found it, and he didn't know exactly what it was. She expects blood work results by the end of this week. Now, I did request a copy of the bus video from the school and was told they are looking into my request. I will continue to work to get answers on this. In the newsroom, Katie Collette, 10 on your side.